It must be the point. Participation. Say we try one more time. You guys ready to see a pig race out there? Yeah! yeah there we go. Got the hogwash flowing now. <laughs> My name's Matt. I'll be your swine master for this section of swine time pig racing. I know it's quite the achievement. Only my mother could see me now. I'm sure she'd be proud. Give me right here is Dave. He's our chief pig trainer, track nutritionist, chief referee, and chief waste removal technician. A highly prized job. A lot of people wonder how he received that honorary title. He went to college for three and a half years, received his BS and BS, been climbing the corporate ladder ever since. We're going to be running three teams of pigs for here today. Coming out right now to men's team. Directly behind me, the middle of women's team. Over to my left, our head of training picks from around the world. That'll be the old lift pig. Now, as you can see, these are not the average pig you'd find on the farm. They're highly trained, highly specialized, genuine Midwestern thorough picks. You get into a slick stop, aerodynamic design that's just cut right through the wind. Unlike the high paid, high priced athletes up today, they're not going to be running for greed or glory. They're not going to run to see their name in lights. They're going to run for one thing and one thing only the ultimate reward to the racing pig. And the Visco Oreo cookie. <laughs> Double stuffed. We take the cookie, place it on that almost silver platter, and we place the platter at the finish line, and the first pig to the plate is the dinner. Got an item the winner. Fairly simple set of rules. We'll go through and give each pig a name. There'll be dinner. gates one through four, one on the inside of the track, four on the out. Have a number of bib on each pig that goes with their gate. You guys will be the cheerleading section. Feel free to grunt, squeal, whatever you're doing to your sleep to help the pigs around the track. Now, a lot of people wonder how we train the pigs. Never beat or whip them, nothing like that. When Dave's getting them dressed, he just gets down there and whispers a few sweet nothings in their ears. Things like bacon bits, barbecue sauce, gets them all psyched up, gets them ready to roll. Second men's team ready to go. In pet number one, one the kids will all recognize, Sponge Hog Squeal Pants. In pet number two, the smartest pig on earth, Albert Swinestein. 
In pack number three from the Rock Band, Grunts and Roses, Axel Roast. And in pack number four, a little green from the racing team from the Muppet Show, Kermit the Hog. Take a little survey. I'll name off all the pigs again. You guys clap and cheer for the one you'd like to see win. You'd like to see number one, Sponge Hog in the cookie. Yeah! Yeah, a couple people. Love a number two, Swinestein. Yeah. Number three, Axel Roast. Woo! How about Kermit the Hog? Yeah! Give it to Kermit. The track is clear. The cookie's <laughs> down. The pigs are not in there. There they go. Weinstein, Kermit the Hog, bringing up the rear, coming to the bottom, oh, no. Axel up front, heading to the plate, gonna take it home, Axel Rose. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Kermit the Hog coming in slow. <laughs> so, uh, coming around that first turn. Not to worry about that. We get to pick medics back to the locker room. Loinkman on there, I'm sure he'll be fine. To get out west this fall, you might want to stop it at the Hog Hall of Fame on Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. See some of the pig racing greats in the past, like Spam the Ham, the Loin Ranger, and of course Bad Ham and Robin. They're all on the wall. They're a great place to take the family. Bringing the women's team on now, a bunch of fine looking swine. A lot of people think these pigs spend all their spare time in the gym, working out, training, conditioning for the races. Not really the case. After each race, I go back to the locker room, kick back, play a game of pig pong. Maybe have a swine cooler or a ham spear. We limit them to two drinks. We don't want to make alcohol hogs out of them. Big problem with these pro athletes. A little too much time on their hands. Pretty nice weather we're having today, isn't it? Yeah. Not too bad. Starting to feel like fall. At least it's not hot. It's been a hot summer. Everywhere we were this summer, very hot. I think at the end of July, we were down at the DuPage County Fair, Wheaton, Illinois. Hot day, super hot. Had let all the pigs out on the side of the track, let them kick back around the pool, have a mud wiser. It was hot out. A couple of them crawled up on a lawn chair, started baking in the sun. Wow. Wow, oh, come on, that's a good pig joke. Thank you. Back to jail in pet number one, Lindsay Loham. Pet number two, Hamel Montana. Pet number three, Sarah Piglin. And in pet number four, Miss Piggy. Take another survey anyway. Who wants to see Loham get the cookie? Five people. How about Hamel Montana? Same people. Sarah Piglin. Miss Piggy. Yeah! There you have it. The track is clear. The cookie's down. The pigs aren't any in there. There they go. Make it, make it out of the seven games. Who's that math thing? Number two, Hamel Montana. Uh oh, look at Lohan. Lohan's running way behind. Looks like she's been in a barbecue sauce. She looks lost. In the bottom turn, number three, picking it out front. Here comes Hamel from behind. And this Piggy headed to the blade. It's going to be number three, Sarah Piglet. Look at Lohan running from the cops. <laughs> Pretty good looking, but not too smart. <laughs> good run for the women's team. Definitely not a track record, though. Back in 92, we had a fast one from out of Little Hawk, Arkansas. Went the name of Slick Willie. He's had a track record of eight seconds. Maybe some of you heard of him. Next set of pigs are bringing out the Olympics. We get these guys from all over the world. Places like Barcelona, Spain, New Amsterdam, LinkedIn Swine, Swine Diego, California, Snort South Dakota, Squilly, West Virginia, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, just to name a few. Some people think I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> These guys are just amateurs hoping to make the pro ham circuit by fall or spring. They are fast, super fast, low center of gravity, they're built for the corner. A lot of famous pigs work for us over the years. Sprint Eastwood, the Red Loin, Pigment Freud, <laughs> Nancy Squealigan, Hillary Rodham, Monica Sawinski, Al Bohr, Tipper Bohr, Roseanne. Bohr! <laughs> Boring. number one for the United States. It's a muscle builder. Tried out acting, took up politics, and was forced into retirement. Arnold Snortzenhager. Yeah. And pet number two from France, downhill skier Jean Claude Squealy. And in pet number three from China, China's finest, Sao Man Chow. Take another survey. I'd like to see Snortzenhager get the cookie. Not too bad. Jean Claude Squealy. Yeah. Sao Man Chow. Yeah. Looks like they're all popular. <laughs> the track is clear. The cookie's down. The pigs are ready in there. There they go. Under the gate like a rocket. Stops to sign an autograph. Down the straightaway, Squealy does the math, figures it out. He's setting the pace. Hey, the first time, here about the next exhaustion. Look at him go. Nobody's going to suffer from exhaustion or overexertion today. Here's the first time, stalled out. Sound me 
Chow in the lane. Starts it Pulls out front. Down the straightaway. Starts it hard. About to kick the nitro side. You can feel it down there. He's pacing himself. He doesn't want to overdo it too soon. Here comes Tommy Chow on the inside. It's a small pick in a long track. Hit it in the metal turn. Cheer him on. Make a little bit of noise for him. Number two is Squealy. He takes off. Come on, pigs. Running out of things to say. To the plate. Squealy looks to the cookie for the sign. Salman Chow steals it right out of his snout. Salman Chow by half a smoky length. You guys want to see one more race? Yeah! They were so slow. It's not too bad. Just gotta get these pigs all cooked up for this last one. Say we try one more time. You guys like to see one more race out there? Yeah! There you go, we're gonna bring out the men's team, the women's team, have a little pick battle with the sexes, boys against girls. Winner down to the Hog Hall of Fame, not Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'll be the recipient of the coveted Silver Sow Award. Very prestigious award amongst racing pigs. Take another survey. I'd like to see the men's team get the cookie. One man here today. I'd like to see the women's team get the cookie. Yeah! Yeah, that was weak. But let you try again. Who'd like to see the women's team get the cookie? Yeah! No contest. Man wins. <laughs> <laughs> been accused of being a chauvinist pig. Looks like Dave's packing them in like sausages. Yeah! You guys down there on the first turn, you might want to watch yourself. Gonna have eight pigs on the track. Gotta warn you ahead of time. We had a little accident this morning during the time trials. Kermit the Hog bumped into Miss Piggy. She went flying over the guardrail into the crowd. What a pretty sight. Pork chops, spare ribs all over the place. We'd have a ambulance come out. 12 pig medics showed up. Got to pass some ointment around. That's a true story. You guys want to hear some more pig jokes? Yeah! Two people. The track is clear. The cookies down. The pigs are running in there. There they go. Mick Mick and Alyssa coming in. Boys out there. Uh-oh. Lohan throws up her clothes. They get the starting gate. She's taking her sweet time today. Who is it going to be? Looks like number two. One. Oh, who is that? Axel Rose, number three. Loham, running way behind. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause. Give him one, two. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out. I go with Pumpkin Farm, one of the pig races. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoy your day in the car. Have a great night. I know I can today. I'm about to put her in here. I know.